Hello and welcome to Tips Tuesday. In this video, we're going to break down short putting into four easy steps and give you a drill that you can work on at home. Hopefully, once you watch this video, you'll understand how to hold short putts. Oh, need more power. Step one. Do it again. <laughs> We need to cut that one, he thinned it. <laughs> How to hold short putts. Very important in golf. You win golf tournaments, you're gonna hold the short putts. Some people perceive a short putt as easy, some find it hard. Rory, you've seen many times in golf, comes down to even the one or two foot putts. Yeah, even uh, on tour you see some of the pros, they become statues over one foot putts, you know, they just stay over it for so long. In the end, it all comes down to your own perception. Um, you get into uh, situations where there are consequences of not holding it and then people get it into their head. So I think the main thing about pressure is you just got to be comfortable in uncomfortable situations. So what do you do in a mental situation? If you're a little bit edgy and uptight, what do you normally do in a situation like that? So for me, I try to be in a flow state as much as I can. Um, I try to focus on doing the same pre-shot routine, flowing into it and not taking any more time than I, than I would have normally in a comfortable situation. Speed determines line. Getting the right speed will help you choose the correct line. Yep. So, for example, we've got a short putt here. Now, we've got three different lengths. So we've got one, if you hit one firm, it's gonna go two or three foot past. You hit one at a medium pace, which will go a foot past, and then you're gonna die one in. So now you've gotta choose which line you're gonna hit. And if Rory, comes and hits ones out here, which is a cup right of the hole. If he hits it firm, it's not gonna go in. So Rory, let's have a putt here and hit this one firm to this tee. See, that was so, a good putt. But... So Rory's hit a good putt, but the wrong line. So he's hit it on a firm speed. Now, if he was hitting on a firm speed, he's gotta go closer to the edge of the hole. Goes in. Goes in. Same so, putt. Same putt. So he's hit the exact same putt, changed his line. So then when you're going to practice, you can always set three different tees up and start the balls on different lines for different paces. We'll break it down into four easy steps on how to hold short putts. Step one, consistent pace. Everyone likes to hit their putts at a different pace. On a relatively flat putt, I like to hit mine, uh, so if the ball misses a hole, it's gonna go roughly a foot past. Rory, what do you like to hit your putts at? Well, Terry, I'm a fairly aggressive putter. I like to see the ball diving into the hole and, on a positive roll. So I, I guess for mine, it will be a little bit more than a foot pass. Now, what would happen, what would you do if you've got the downhill putt? On most downhill putts, I'll try to die it into the hole so it doesn't go past. So it's just rolling the front end. So let's hit your first putt, so your standard pace. Well, this is a fairly flat putt, so So as you can see, it went by. You went by the distance you liked, yep. but then you've aimed it too high. Exactly. Yeah. Right, so you got to, the feedback you get with this putt now, you've hit a good putt. I've hit a good putt, but right I probably pace. wasn't aimed correctly. Aimed correctly. So let's adjust your aim and hold the putt again. Beautiful. See, Rory's first putt he's missed, but he's hit it the correct pace. So when you review your putt that you've missed, you look at it and go, okay, well, I've hit it the correct pace, why is it missed? He's hit the wrong line. So now he's adjusted his line on the second part and it goes in. Step two, aim. One of the most important things in putting. If you aim correctly, you've got a chance to hold the putt. Yeah, Terry, definitely aiming is one of the most important aspects of putting. It doesn't matter how pure your stroke is. If you don't aim correctly, you're gonna have a tough time holding putts. Okay, so we've got a couple of ways of checking your aim. This is called a putting alignment tool. So what we're going to do, Rory has picked his putt and he wants to go it at right lip. Yep. So Rory's going to set the putter up. So I'm going to aim where I think is the right lip for me. Now I take the alignment stool out, our tool out, and then we have a look. Now we can go back and check exactly where I was aiming. As you can see, I'm aiming a ball out from the cup. Okay, so your alignment is a fraction out on that. So, so my perception was right lip, but I'm actually aiming. Aiming a little bit higher than that. The other tool we can use, putting mirror. You can get these from most pro shops or online stores. 
So we'll set this up. So, so we line this up to right lip and then put your ball in. Yep, and then just practice until you get comfortable with what you see here, until it matches your perception. So obviously you need to aim a little bit further right on that. So obviously that's a good little bit of feedback here. So you were aiming at right lip. Obviously yep. this putt needs to break more. Yep. So subconsciously when we first did our first test with this tool, you aimed it further right. Yeah. So that's the, the body's innate ability to say, oh, okay, we yeah. need to go a little bit higher. Yeah, I've played this game for a long time, so I think subconsciously I know that that's not Absolutely. the right Absolutely. So, third option, if you're struggling with this, is get your friend to stand behind you and line you up. So I'll set up to this butt and you'll double check the, so. That's good. Right there. Thanks, Terry. Beautiful. There we go. Simple as that. Give that a try. There's a couple of options for you to use. Step three, the stroke. Terry, what I notice the most with amateurs is that they get out of sync uh, when they're putting. Their arms flail away from their body independently. It's not, and as you well know, connection is one of the most important aspects of good putting. We've got a good little drill for you all with connection of the putter. So what I want Rory to do is just to stand straight up and hold his arms in a nice relaxed position and the putter is parallel to the ground. Now what I want Rory's lower half stays still, but his upper body, he just turns the shoulders back and through. Now they, the body's straight up, shoulders only rotating. Yeah, I can definitely feel the connection here. So what we do now, as we gradually bend over a little bit. There we go. Now, we're going to try and keep it all connected. Give that a try, and hopefully you can hold more putts. Step four, pressure practice. Obviously, when you get on the golf course, you're under a little bit of pressure. We like to duplicate this on the putting green. Rory, what do you normally do in these situations? Well, normally, Terry, I would find a good putter and uh, try to challenge them on a putting contest. So put a bit of money on the line and... Exactly, have a little bit of fun while I'm doing it. I've set up a little drill. I've got four foot, five foot, six foot, and seven foot. There's four balls. What we've got to do is we've got to try one attempt at each, ho each distance. Now, it's being accountable for holding the putt. So if you miss, say, from... If you hold your first putt from four foot and you miss it from five foot, You've got to stay on the five footer until you hole it. So all of a sudden, if you're going along nicely, you hole from five foot, you hole from six foot, you hole from seven foot, all of a sudden, you've got a bit of pressure because you hold that eight foot putt, you're done with your putting practice. So Rory, let's have a look and see how we go. Oh, he's off to a flyer. Okay, now all of a sudden you're on your last ball, you're feeling a little bit of pressure. Okay, Rory, so we went along nicely, you hold the first three, and then all of a sudden you got to the fourth putt. Well, that's the beauty of pressure practice, Terry. It's count accountability, and you gotta be comfortable in you know, uncomfortable situations, and that's the beauty of uh, practicing these drills. Let's recap the four steps to holding short putts. Number one, consistent pace. Number two, aim. Number three, the stroke. Finally, number four, pressure practice. If you master these four steps, you'll be unstoppable on holding short putts. Just like this guy. This guy, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Thanks for watching the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. Comments below. Don't forget to click on the Asian Troll logo to subscribe and click on the link for another video.